They say sharing is caring. That's basically what open source software is all about. Open source refers to the source code that anyone can modify and share because its designers made it accessible to the public. The term originated in computer science to create computer programs that could be edited and shared by all, making them better and more efficient. One of the things that makes Bitcoin so interesting is that it's humans' first attempt at applying the open source concept to money. Its design is public. Nobody owns or controls Bitcoin, and everyone can take part in mining it or running a node to secure the network. That's why I thought it's worth taking a closer look at this whole concept of open source. I just have a feeling that we're going to see more and more open source technology in the coming years. I'm Somi Aryan. I'm a tech philosopher and the founder of the FemPeak platform, where visionary individuals come to stay in the know and ahead of the curve in business and technology. I'm super passionate about getting more people on board with Web3, investing, and financial empowerment. Please just remember, nothing I say here is financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor. So if you are on board, let's dive right in. Open source software is software with a source code that is accessible to the public and that anyone can check it out, edit it, and improve it. A software source code is the part that most computer users never see. However, it is the core of the program application or software, and programmers can manipulate it to change how the software works. Programmers with access to the software source code can improve and enhance its features as well as fix any bugs that arise. This is software whose code can only be accessed and modified by the individual team or organization that created it. When you buy proprietary software, you have to accept the licensing terms, agreeing that you will not do anything that is not permitted by the creator. Famous examples of proprietary software include Adobe Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and Windows and iOS operating systems. In the case of open source software, its authors make the source code accessible to others who would like to inspect the code, copy it, play with it, learn from it, edit it, and share it. The Linux operating system is a perfect example of an open source software. Just like proprietary software, open source users must also comply with the licensing terms when installing the software. Still, the legal terms of these two licenses are very different. The licenses in open source software instruct the way that people can study, edit, use, and distribute the software, allowing the users to use open source software for anything they want. Some of them called copyleft licenses determine that anyone who publishes an altered version of an open source program must also include the original source code. Also, some open source licenses lay down that anyone who modifies a program and then shares it must share the resulting program's source code without charging a licensing fee for it. The open source way of thinking goes hand in hand with decentralization because it promotes collaboration and sharing, permitting others to alter source code and include those changes in their own projects. They motivate programmers to inspect and edit source code as long as they let others do the same with their work, setting up the landscape for the future of the internet. When Web3 succeeds in becoming what is supposed to be, that is the third iteration of the internet, it will be a massive return to the healthy beginnings of the open source software environment. Currently, big corporations control most of the internet, making it impossible for smaller players to succeed if they do not abide by their rules. But in the era of Web3, open source could be the norm. There's nothing new about the idea of a more collaborative and decentralized internet. We just now have the technology to actually do it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel and press that like button. This will help more people discover these videos. Also, be sure to ping that notification bell so you're alerted when I release the next video. And let me know in the comments what other topics you would like me to cover. Finally, if you like what you see here, join the FemPeak platform where we have live mentoring sessions with industry experts and you can network with other visionaries like yourself.